everybody, it's Grand Marshal here in New Melanson. I got my buddy Sean helping me out. We're here at the Hayabusa Training Academy. There's so many Peruvian necktie variations. I, I've been doing this one for a while. I always called it a Nelson necktie because it, it just it looks like a quarter Nelson almost. First detail is the three finger grip. You can do it like Gable. You can do it with an S. I'm just, I'm just wired to do the three finger grip. So the three finger grip is this, like you make a peace sign, all right, but your fingers are together and you put your thumb in the peace sign, basically, close, close. If you kind of like, I, you're gonna be fine if you close them, no matter what, but if you, if you close this hand first, you see all my hands, knuckles come together? Like, if you do it too much, you'll start feeling a little tweak. So, when you're there, squeeze, squeeze. Now, what, the reason why I like this is because when I start creating this choking pressure, my hand, elbows can pass each other pretty good when my grips are together. If I'm in a gable and I do it, you see how my hands are falling apart? Even in an S-grip, I can't. I get pretty close, but my fingers are feeling weak. There we go. Like if I'm gonna hug somebody, I don't do that. I, I'll, I'll hitch a gable or crack down position, basically. But uh, the thing, anytime I'm trying to do a move where my elbows have to pass each other, like this move, I, I use the three-finger grip. It's old as hell. It's really old. It's not something I thought up and I'm not special. I learned from Gene LaBelle and he said it was old and he's old. So that's how old it is, it's double old, okay? So it's gonna be similar to a front headlock. I'm just gonna be like, you know, when I'm riding here, I don't wanna be on my knees too much. I wanna, I wanna make them carry my weight. I wanna wrestle. I don't wanna be here because then I'm giving my hands away. And that's the thing, anytime you're, you're attacking the front headlock, I can go all day, protect your hands. I'm a turtle player and all I want is for this hand to go here and I'll have a two-in-one and I'll be gone. So protect your hands, protect your elbows, touch your hands. So for me, it might be short, my hands might be short, I might be on a quarter, okay? I might be on a front face lock, I might be on another quarter, all right? So here, my hands are protected, okay? But you can see, if, I'm, if I'm, my hand, elbows aren't pinching, he's got lots of room to wrestle out. When I go here, you see how my elbows are starting to come tight? Right there, I'll choke them. Just my pressure alone, no matter, no matter anything else. So the hand that I'm grabbing the three goes through the armpit. This is your mark, pull on that ear. That's my three right there. Okay, that's my mark. Just like I would do like a Greco neck lock, like turn, that's my head position. So here. So when I'm next position, lock, pinch. Elbows together and down. That's my hand position. So if I'm on a snap position, I'll pull out and lock, okay? Now, what I want to do is I don't want to give my foot away. I hate, I, like guys do this, like a regular Peruvian, they step up. I know there's guys that are really good at it and it's a powerful choke. I find it very easy to escape. And I have some guys on my team that are pretty damn good at it. I'm just, I'm just comfortable with it. It's not, not scary to me. So I want to also hide my leg. So when I'm here, I'll jam my knee and shin right here in the pit of his neck. So he'll, he can see my four toes and try to grab my foot, but it's, it's nice and tight, it's snug. And just the pressure alone, it's gonna suck. It's not gonna feel good at all. So when I'm here, I get my lock, I jam, nice and tight. Now, this alone will tap him out, but I actually wanna create, I wanna get my other leg over his back, okay? Now, to do this quickly, I'm not gonna step this leg up and wing it over because I'll be totally off balance. I'm actually gonna pull him into me and then my leg will wrap. It's like I'm, I'm doing like a sacrifice, I'm falling backwards. And I'm gonna put him towards his back. It's gonna, he's gonna basically roll with me, okay? So he's here, I have my, my lock, nice and tight, three fingers. My knee comes in, my other leg squats up. Now, as I fall back, this leg comes over. I'm gonna pull him back to my right. And right in this position. So from here, when I do another angle, you'll see it better. I'm actually gonna drive my knee into him. I'm gonna curl my leg 
I'm gonna start driving my elbow down. And when I do, it's gonna choke him something awful. And the reason why I love this, if for some reason he's able to get this foot off, he's still choking. And if I go here, he's still choking. It's not like I feel like I'm in trouble. I don't feel in danger there. The grip alone will save me. Okay, so it's not the end of the world. Like, don't freak out about it. Okay. Let's get closer. All right, so same thing, yeah. Here, hit my quarter. I pinch nice and tight. My knee comes in. And right here, guys, I'm not gonna wait to choke him. I'll be choking him right effing now. I want him to die as soon as possible. Not really, Sean, I like you. But in real life, I wanna, if he taps right now, I, one last step. Don't wait to get in position to crank him. I wanna be jacking him up, okay? Lock, other foot. As I fall back, pull him, leg over. Here we go. Now, from this position, I'm gonna push hard with my leg. I'm gonna curl. I'm gonna squeeze my hands tight. I'm gonna force my elbow down and pull my right, other, right hand up. Very, very mean choke. And honestly, it's not hard. The key is getting comfortable. You could do it with the gable. I'm not saying you can't do it with the gable or an S grip, you can't. But if you wanna get, you wanna really get that nice mean choke, work on the three finger grip, all right? Before someone else uses it against you and taps you out, makes you feel stupid, okay? You're getting this information from, from the grandmaster himself. You better learn it, okay? So three finger grip. Okay, let's do it one more time. Same angle, I like that angle. Good thinking, Sean. All right, so he's here. I might be riding my front head lock, protecting my hands, never giving my hands away. Hit my quarter, my knee jams in, I'm starting to choke him already. Like, most likely, if I get mean here, he's gonna tap, it's, it's not gonna be good. Other leg comes up, pull him back into me, block. And you can see it, he's in the suck. Curl, push, and speed. I don't, like, it's just a nice little lock. And sometimes, guys, you gotta remember, it's okay to be creative. But as long as you keep yourself honest. You know, you, when you're working on techniques, don't add steps that don't need to be there. But also, find a way to win. If there's something that's not working, problem solve, think about why it's not working, and correct it and work on it and share it. I've, I can't tell you how many times I've shown a technique and had a student show it back to me way better. Okay, that, this is why I love doing these kind of videos. I would love to see that you guys practice these kind of things, we'll learn them, master them, repost it, or send it to me so I can find another way of doing it. That's why I'm in this game. As soon as that stops happening, I don't see the point of being here. Okay, this is why I love it. So, if you're like me, work on it. This, this is cake, man, this is cake. This ain't hard, all right? And it works on high level guys. It's not gonna just work on your local scrubs, okay? So give it a try. I know that sucked, thank you, Sean. And uh, stay tuned for the next Hayabusa video. Thank you. Subscribe to Hayabusa's channel right now and check out all my Grand Marshall videos. The ones that you don't tune in for, and if you don't subscribe, your training partners are gonna learn it and they're gonna tap you out with it and you're gonna feel like a fool. Do it now, watch them all, have a blast. I'll see you on the next video.